Hi everyone, so we are given the function h and hg and using these information, we will want to find the function g. Now at this point, we look to the composite function hg over here to give us a clue. Now the technique is this, let's start to substitute the function g into all the x values within the function of h. That means we are forming the composite function hg. So we could then equate that to the given function hg, which is 2x plus 3 minus 2a. Our objective here is to make gx the subject since we want to find the function g. So we will have gx, whole thing squared, equals to x minus a. And the function gx is either negative square root x minus a or positive square root x plus a. Now we are going to reject the positive value because for a composite function to exist, always remember the range of g must be a subset of the domain of h. So for this function here, the domain of h is from negative infinity to zero inclusive and the range of g must be a subset within this domain of h. So simply put, the function of gx is negative square root x minus a. Now the question did not want us to find this in similar form, therefore we can actually write it as such. Now before we move on to the next example, do remember to subscribe to this channel to see more valuable content such as this. Now moving on to example number two, the functions h and gh now are defined by as such 2ax plus 3 while gh is ln 2x minus 1 plus 1. Now in this case, we are not able to substitute the function h into the composite function gh because that will not give us the function gx, rather we will then have gh squared, which is not what we want. Therefore, we are going to employ another technique and this time we are going to find the inverse of h. By finding the inverse of h, we can then substitute that into the composite function gh and remember this rule the composite function of h, h inverse, and h inverse h is equals to x. And therefore, if we were to substitute h inverse x into the composite function g h, we will then have the function g x itself. So let's try to find the inverse of h first by letting y equals to 2ax plus 3. We'll make x be the subject. So that will be equals to y minus 3 over 2a. Therefore, h inverse is equals to x minus 3 over 2a. Now, as mentioned earlier, taking this h inverse x, we are going to substitute that into the composite function gh, which will then give us gh, h inverse. This will be equals to ln 2, let's substitute x minus 3 over 2a over here, minus 1 plus 1. And this will be equals to ln x minus 3 over a minus 1 plus 1. Now in summary, there are two scenarios that you need to remember. If you are a given a function h and hg, all we need to do is to take the function g, substitute it into the function h to give us a composite function hg and equate that to the given equation. Now in the next scenario, if this doesn't work, if you have a function h and a gh and you want to find the function g, all we need to do is to find the inverse of h and substitute it into the composite function gh in order to get the function g, which is based on the rule over here. Now I do hope you have learned something from this video. If you have any questions, comments or requests for a particular question, do leave them down in the comments box below and thank you so much for watching.